guys, good morning. Is everyone having a great day today? I hope you are all having a great day today. Miss Lisa's having an awesome day. Okay, who remembers what letter we're talking about this week? If you said the letter X, you are right. We're talking about the letter X. What sound does X make? Do you remember? Can you make an X with your fingers? Go X, X. For my friend, Xavier the Fox. Is there an X at the end of the fox? Fox. See, and he's got an X with his knitting needles there and he goes X, X, X. That's the sound it makes when he's knitting. He's a fox that likes to knit. Okay, so we are talking about the letter X. X is also for our treasure map where X marks the spot. So we're gonna um, talk a little bit more about how we um, draw the letter X. And there's a blank line up here and I want you guys, since you're older, to practice the X's all by yourself. Can you guys do that? Okay, first you can trace down here. You start at the top and go down at the top again and go across, okay? And of course, is that lowercase or uppercase X? That is uppercase X, good job. Okay, let's try it again, start at the top and go down and then back up at the top and go down the other side. Good job, guys, okay. So we practiced a couple of our upper cases. Now let's hop down to lowercase x, okay? So lower case, does it start at the top or does it start at the middle line? Starts at the middle. We still go down. We come back up here and go across, okay? This least is a little hard because my paper is falling off because I scooted it down. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, our little x is at the middle line. Go down and then across again. Can you guys try that? Let's try it again. At the start at the middle line, go down and across, okay? And then most importantly up here, I want you guys to practice the letter X. So we're gonna practice our big X, our uppercase X first. And we're actually gonna go to the very top line and it's actually dotted, but normally it's solid. And we're gonna go down, then come back up to the very top line and go across. Can you guys try that? Let's try it again, start at the top line go down and come back up and go down and across, okay? Good job. Now we're gonna practice lowercase x, okay? The little x right here. We practiced uppercase, now we're gonna practice lowercase. We're gonna start at the middle line right here and go down and then across. Start at the middle line, go down and across. Do you see how Miss Lisa did that? Uppercase starts at the top, lowercase starts at the middle line, okay? And then of course you guys can practice this, tracing this uppercase X here. And then you can practice tracing this lowercase X here. And then if you want to, you can practice your treasure hunt, going around to find the X marks the spot where the treasure is, okay? Or your ship can go this way, or it can come up here and visit the pirate flag, the pirate flag island. Okay, so good job guys. I want you to practice the letter X. And then we're gonna practice some sounds, okay? Miss Lisa kinda wanted to go back to a little bit of our basics and practice the sounds. So this is a k -k compass. It helps tell the pirates um, which way to go. K -k compass starts with what? Good job. Next, we have a picture of a m, m map. What letter makes the m sound? M, good job. Then we're gonna come down here and this is a k, k coin, k, k coin. What letter makes the k sound? Good job, if you said C. And then over here we have a ha, ha, hook. Good, and if what letter makes the H huh sound? If you said H, you are right. H makes the H huh sound. Then we're gonna come down here and remember, um, who remembers what our vowels are? Do you guys remember what the vowels are? Miss Lisa will write them here for you. Okay, we have A, E, I, O, U, right? And sometimes Y. So, we have a picture of an I, I, island. What two sounds does the vowel I make? It says I, and then it says I. So we're gonna do I, I, island starts with I, right? Because it can either say I or I. 
Good job, guys. And then over here, we have a p -p parrot. What letter makes the p sound? If you circle P, you are right. Good job, guys. Okay, then we're gonna have one more sheet that's gonna practice our sounds. Okay, we have a b, b, boy. What sound does b, b, what letter does b make? If you said B, you are right. Then we're gonna hop over here and we have a g, g, girl. G, g, girl, g, g, girl. So if you said G makes the g sound, you are right. What's, what letter makes the h, h, hat? H, h, hat. If you said H, you are right. Good job, guys. Okay, here's another fun pirate thing. This is a t -t telescope. T -t telescope. If you look through it, it lets you look really far and it shows it up close. If you said T makes the t sound, you are right. Then down here we have a pirate sword. S sword. What letter makes the s sound? You guys should know all of these. We're just gonna review a little bit so we keep it fresh in our brain. Um, the letters our sounds makes, our, the letters our sounds makes. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> All right, we're gonna practice anyways more sounds, okay? So, wah, wah, wheel, wah, wah, wheel. We talked about this letter last week. Wah, wah, wheel, W makes the wah sound, right? Okay, so Miss Lisa also doesn't want you to forget our phonics video, okay? Especially the sounds one, I want you to go and practice your sounds so that we know the types of sounds that our letters make, okay? All right, that sounds better. Okay, then we have some, we have some words here, okay? This is a pirate hat, h-a-t, h-a-t. Actually, it has the at word in it, doesn't it? So we have huh, which is H, huh, a, t, hat. And then we have a ship. And remember TH, when we have our friends T and H together, remember the T is very soft. It goes th, th, th. When the S and the H are together, the H makes the S soft. It goes sh, sh. Ip, sh, ip, ship. Okay, we have sh, ip, ship. Okay, so that's what the S and the H make together. And then we have look. Remember, we also had the word look. We now we have huh, oh. The two O's together make the oo sound. Huh, look, hook. Can you guys say hook? Yep, the two O's together make the oo sound. Then down here we have ma-ap, map. Our pirates use a map when they're sailing on the ocean. Ma-ap, map. Good job, guys. Okay, so we did our phonics today. Give yourself a clap, good job. And now we're going to work on our numbers. So Miss Lisa wrote numbers on the side here so you remember what the one and the two and the three and the four and the five and the six and the seven and the eight look like, okay? Because you're gonna write numbers down here all by yourself and you're gonna count some of these pirate things. So this is a picture of a treasure chest. So you're gonna find all the treasure chests and you get to count them, kind of like I spy. It's an I spy game. And then you have parrot and then you have a hook and a sword and a wheel and a hat. So I'll do a couple of these with you, but then Miss Lisa wants you to go and I want you to count them all by yourself and find how to write the number, okay? All right, so the first thing we're gonna count are the hooks, okay? Let's find them all. Can we find them all? One, two, three. I just see three hooks. Can we practice writing the number three? So parents, we're just practicing some counting, but mainly um, since we're getting into kindergarten, we're just practicing writing our numbers this time, okay? Kind of like we did one to a hundred, but this is kind of um, a little bit more fun than just that. Okay, so we have a p -p parrot. How many parrots do we see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven. 
Seven parrots, good job. Okay, can you guys count the treasure chest and the swords and the wheels and the hats all by yourself and then look to see how you write the number and then write it in the box, okay? All right, Miss Lisa's so proud of you. She thinks that you guys are so awesome. I know it's not easy to exercise your brain, but maybe you can treat yourself to some parrot food, okay, when you're done exercising your brain. All right, guys, Miss Lisa, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.